Good evening. Welcome back to the next session of Space Crew <laughs> uh, Android Ambush. Uh, my name is Okada, and uh, we're going to pick up where we left off in the last session. Hope everyone is having a good week so far. Uh, we left off with, uh, we had just taken out the first of the champions and uh, we did one, one extra mission after that. That was basically where we left off. We, we encountered second guy, second champion who had stealth was a definitely new feature that we weren't really ready for. And, uh, and it required us to do some hacking on the uh, the ship, which we definitely were not ready to do. So hopefully we can, you know, next time we encounter them, that we can maybe get on them a little bit faster. Now that we kind of understand what we're looking at. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to take them out without, uh, without having to hack, because it looked like the hack was pretty complex. I mean, we were really in a dire situation, so uh, got away from us. But that's okay. It was it was cool new feature, and uh, discovering the feature did not result in our destruction. So uh, that's a positive. What is this one named? Well, we don't have any money. I kind of want to get the. the Exclamation point off of here so that it stops telling us something new. Even though we don't have any money to buy anything new. I don't think we need anything for it. We, we do want to save up a little bit of money for... Uh, Trying to make sure we have a crew that is set up for the uh, landing missions, the away the away parties. You know, we've only done one one away mission so far, uh, but the it was clearly an introductory one. It was a, a teaching a teaching one, and uh, I want I know I want to see I want to see if the uh, legendaries are still here waiting for us. Okay, good. So it, uh, we, we've rescued two legendary crew members that are just ridiculously powerful. I mean, this movement rate, 126, with, with 27 armor. And this is without me equipping them. I kind of wanted to compare this against the ones that we actually are training. So 126, 27, we get some nice resists. That's a gunner. Pair that against one of our other gunners. Apparently that's not going to show. Yeah, so... That person has twice the speed. And we have a lot more armor on these guys with us because we've actually put equipment on them. But uh, I don't. If we if, if we took out this armor, I don't think we would get anywhere near that kind of speed. See, that's plus eight. You know, the the argument being that maybe those guys just start with default no gear and are for the yeah they're. That's a crazy high. I mean, they're legendary, so I guess so. <laughs> but it still seems kind of extreme. Uh, but we we're we're not gonna we're not gonna take on any of the legendaries unless we lose a uh, regular crew member. And even then, I'm, I'm a little hesitant because it's really powerful. Alright, so we have 
We have a couple of options uh, that we've done already. This is what the uh, the 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 circle the uh, the circle with the arrow is uh, is showing that it's a repeat mission. And we want to kind of avoid doing repeat missions because we don't want to grind it out unless we really feel like we've fallen behind. And uh, I I have no reason to feel like we're falling behind at this point. And uh, we could go after this guy, which I think he is. Yeah, see, that's the stealth. That's the guy that harasses in stealth. I think we're just going to move on in the storyline. What this symbol here is shows it's a storyline mission. And the other one's the high risk away oh, team, which seems like an early. We have no upgrades for our way team. That seems premature. But let's try this out. Oh. Looks like we have two destinations? Well, that's new. We've never seen a... a, in a situation where there's more than one destination. UDF freighter transporting ore from Alpha Centauri B asteroid belt. The Arcus has been lost. Oh, so maybe we're looking for him. Only mission is in need of supplies. Okay, deliver. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go to wherever they were at, collect the supplies ourselves, and then and then uh, double back and go to the colony, which is. Arcadia Prime, I think. I think we're going to go all the way out here first. Around switch, right? Arcus, yeah. I think that they're... I don't know. Uh, oh, we're going from Alpha Alpha Centauri, so we'll we'll split off to here and get it, and then come around. Okay, it's, it's kind of nice to look at the map ahead of time and kind of understand it, because we do have options on where to, to go. And we want to make sure that we... Uh, I take the right route. Plus, you know, we can get into a situation where we're getting into a bad fight. And uh, once we clear out the fight, we find ourselves too far away from the point that we want to be at. So it's helpful if we know ahead of time. I want to repaint the ship. We'll do that next time. Uh... You know, rather than having to do it in the heat of battle. Or find out, you know, at the last moment that you clicked on the wrong one and now you're on the wrong side of the map. And risk having forces reappear. Before you can get correct yourself and get to the correct warp point. Or jump point. So we said Alpha Centauri. Now we get to Quarter so I guess he wants to go the other way. I guess they're both Alpha Centauri. I missed that detail. But there's our our heat seeking missiles. As you can see, they go on track real well. Uh, across the you know across the way. But once we start going in a straight line, it's pretty good at hitting uh, more accurately. We're getting through my shields pretty fast here. On defensive. So again, defensive mode increases our evasion and causes the pilot to kind of maneuver the ship in a way to get the shields, the best shields, towards the most enemies. So we kind of lose going towards our our waypoint. He's not actually going to a waypoint, he's just steering to avoid. void. 
That's okay. We were already kind of more or less going towards it. We're not too far out. That was a good idea to check inside the ship every now and then, make sure there isn't a hazard going on that we didn't notice. I'm going to hover for just a moment here and let our shields recharge a little bit. We have the we have the the high powered shields without uh, without hardly any uh, regeneration. Kidding. All right, and reset them. Go on. Oh, they are right on us, right out of the gate. Then we get a little bit of, a little bit of maneuvering, a little breathing room before they jump on us. And we gotta go through an asteroid belt. I have a brain the size of a planet. Wow, oh, that's a big brain. Oh. I mean, somewhere around here is champion. I know I haven't marked these guys yet. The champion's coming in. Oh, that's right, he's stealth. Alright, so we'll go ahead and mark these guys. We gotta be ready to try to hack him. There he is. Okay, this is, this is much more simple. It's half as much... Uh, of a code than it was before. It's gonna be that and that. Disable that generator. Nice. <clears throat> Got your number, buddy. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is up there. Now remember, we don't typically succeed in killing the, uh, okay, so it's only temporarily disabled, too. We don't, we don't typically succeed in killing the, uh, champions out in the wild, so to speak. But our real goal here is just to... On an invasion here. Oh, goodness, we've been boarded. Our, our goal is to run him off. So we're in evasion mode right now, so they're not hitting us. I guess we'll go ahead and call in some fighters. I didn't really want to. It didn't look like a... It didn't really look like a fight that I had to call in fighters on, but... So, since they snuck on our boat... And I don't have all these guys targeted. Better to be safe. Time to gotta deal with other things. I don't have time to be hacking. Get your shields back. I I canceled the ability before he got it off. Goodness. We are not doing well. That's three more boarding ships. <laughs> For stealth, they're really, really knocking at the door. They really want to get on the ship.
That, that boss is around here somewhere still. At least, it, so we recovered our shield nicely during that reprieve. But, uh, our fighters have gone away and the champion is still out there somewhere. So we're being boarded. Attack enemies. In front of us, I should have. I should definitely have a guy in in the seat. That's uh, a big blocky one. And that one. All right, there we go. Hack on him again. Keep having to retarget him. When we lose the, the stealth on him. Ooh, that guy. There was a fucking bomb in there. Looks like he's running away. Yeah, there we go. He's finally he finally ran away. And so that's. That kind of reinforces the strategy that I go into these fights with when I try to target only him and just don't target anyone else because you saw how much faster we ran him off once we had focus fire on him. Unfortunately, with this guy, is not quite as feasible because he keeps cloaking and breaking, uh, breaking target. And I, I don't have the luxury of sitting around waiting to retarget him while I have everyone else shooting at me. So he makes that strategy a little bit more difficult. We'll get him soon, though. We'll 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 run him down out in the wild or, or wherever his home base is. Give a little bit of XP for killing somebody real quick. All right, now let's jump. Another, uh, another Android device. Another Samsung phone blown in space. That fight lasted so long that our fire support was almost back up. He really did take a beat in there. So this looks like this is going to give us the cipher codes. Yeah. Something else that we will end up running into. Where is our Reef cargo pod? Where is the cargo pod? I missed something. That's the thing that we just hacked. That should not be the cargo pod. We're at the destination. Here's where that purple thing is way off in the distance, but that's be a different area of the world. I don't think we're supposed to pick this up, but I'm gonna put him in the because we're going whenever we find what we're looking for. Oh, it was right next to it. That's a little cheeky.
Get out of this asteroid belt before we get hit by any more asteroids. I think we're a giant magnet. Kill this guy up while we're while we're safely floating through space. Doesn't seem to be anything hostile here. A good opportunity to heal up. Pretty neat them giving us a mission that where we actually need to backtrack and splinter off into a different heading. Usually our backtracking is what we do to go back home once we're we've reached our destination. Okay, so our, our missiles here, missiles are more, much more accurate when they're falling behind us like this. These guys aren't even getting close to us. That's something I really appreciate about this game is that you know where we are in space relative to each other and our headings and all that affect the accuracy of our our weapons and our our gunners. It's not just a, a sheer you know chance to hit numbers game. You know if we're fa if they're falling behind us, they're actually in our, our you know. And even what would be an easier shot to hit in real life, it really is an easier shot in the game. That guy took a beating. Took those missiles right in the face. Ow! <laughs> took, that, took that asteroid right in the face. Let's strip my entire front shield. Shields a little bit faster. I don't actually care about this uh, unit, but I don't want. Even though we don't use the gravity generator because we always have it turned off, if it's damaged, it's flashing the damage symbol. And I don't want to get used to seeing that wrench icon because it could be something that's actually important I need to fix. So it's better off being fixed and leaving it just with the, the no power icon instead. Plus, it's a non-essential system. That could be randomly chosen to be the thing that gets damaged. Or, or uh, you know, if we have a boarding party, it's something they can attack. That if it's damaged, we won't care. That can also buy us a little time. There's a boarding ship. Guy, this guy, target this guy first. <laughs> uh, I'm clicking. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, we can't do priority targeting in this. It's, if it's targeted, then everything's fair game. One taking. Uh, so he's already launched his guys. I don't know what this guy is. He's got this thing on his back. Oh, he's he's planting bombs. Look at this. 
That's what that is. He's That's not very nice. Oh, I don't know that this is probably not a good idea. Oh, this has got to be a bad idea. I gotta target things out there, but I can't take my eyes off this. Oh, and I forgot to put a space suit on him. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that I have the uh, the the oxygen helmet on him. <laughs> I just totally totally sent him out in space without a without a uh, space suit. That's not uh, that's not something we should be doing. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to redirect stuff to my weapons too. Good thing that wasn't a, a heavy fight. All right, a landing pad. Drop off the supplies. Put things back to where we found them. So to give you an idea of the scale of this station, those, well, <laughs> the things on the arm are actually cargo ships. Those are not just little pods, they're full spaceships. Which we haven't seen them yet in here, but we uh, will likely have escort missions for uh, these ships. This we did a lot in in the first or kind of time in the first one, first campaign. So that gives you they would give you an idea of scale, of scale. It's such a cool environment, massive uh, cloud cover over a planet. All right, I'll get out of here. Depending on what missions we have coming out of this, I do want to, uh, I want to take on the champion. I mean, <laughs> that silly thing is broken already again. Um, you know, we the problem with taking the champion on too soon is that it introduces the next champion. The next champion could be worse than the previous one. But that champion with his stealth is really a problem. I think that I would rather face another champion that I don't have to put as much focus on when we get into a thicker situation. Maybe I'll target these guys. Warning parties aren't that dangerous, typically. As long as you notice them, it's when you don't notice them, that you're really in trouble. They'll walk around the ship and they'll actually target systems and destroy them. Or the reactor, which I think is what happened on that last when we earlier when I zoomed in and I was like, oh goodness, I didn't notice we had a party on our, on our ship. The reason I zoomed in was because our reactor was taking a lot of damage. And I think that one of them was just happily destroying it <laughs> without our without our intervention. <laughs> so I think I was saying, uh, I, unless we have something that jumps 
jumps out at me on our next set of missions because now we've we're completing this was a storyline mission. Uh, when I see something else of priority that comes up, we'll probably go after the champion and destroy him so we don't have to deal with him uh, his stealthiness next time. Because they they like to show up during the missions. You guys are leveling fast. I feel like what they've done is they've reduced the amount of XP necessary for the lower levels, uh, but we still it still takes a good while to get to the, the top levels, which is kind of nice because if you have someone who gets killed. It means you have uh, less recovery time to kind of get back to where you were at. Armor boots, those, these aren't the... Uh, these don't have the gravity boots. These we probably will not be using. Well, I mean, armored boots, so we might put those on the, on the captain. Because he never gets up. A decent amount of money, too. Let's, let's take a look at these boots on the captain. On the starter boots. <laughs> Minus 27 speed. Oh, he isn't on the starter boots. He gives him the Still, only 75. Gives him more armor, a lot more armor. And more. So we just, we don't ever want this guy out of his seat. And the more we can do to not have him hurt, the least likely it is that we'll need to have to get him uh, to stand up. Yeah, oh, that's a cloak. That's not a shield. Yeah, I think that this is purely for fighting. Like, I don't think that this doesn't give armor. This is purely if you're uh, facing a boarding party. What we got new on our spacecraft. I think we're we're pretty well set on our front and back weapons, except for when we get upgraded versions of those weapons. Like this is the high explosive, which I'm not saying we're gonna stick with the high explosive forever, but it was really nice. Lightning gun. Oh wow, it has a chance to induce an EMP effect on targets, or effectively can. We might, get, I mean, we're using the energy weapons on the sides. We might, might try that out on a side one. What's the cost of it? I know we're not on a side one. Ooh. I just want to make sure there isn't another high explosive. That would be less damage. The railgun is nice. Yeah, I don't see anything for that. Uh, these are going to be... Yeah, no, I think we're okay on our weapons. I think we need to just... We need to finish armoring up. This is something that we really set out for last time. I said that we, if we don't take the time to spend the money 
then we'll get behind on the armor and not want to spend the money because it gets more and more expensive. Got the money. Oh, we're just shy on it. So we're just going to wait until you have it. All right. Ooh, eliminate champion went to red. That's surprising because it was it was uh, medium risk before, and it should be the same champion. Okay, so I guess <laughs> I guess we're not going after. Him. There's a lot of jumping. Look at this. I think that we're gonna, because this isn't a repeat. I want to get that last piece of armor. Looking at these, the ramp up, and like that's a lot of jumps. And we're just a few dollars shy of getting getting the uh, the armor, final final armor piece. So I think we're gonna do this one, even though it's an easy one. I'm not, you know, I didn't say we wouldn't do easy ones. Everybody running along. Still need to repaint the ship. Although I, I kind of like what we're. I'm starting. I'm starting to get used to looking at this ship. All right. Always start heading to our objective before the fighting starts. Already hit an asteroid? Look, our, our shields are. How's it both bottom and top damaged? Supposed to hit us like right on the scene, right between them. That guy really takes a beating, doesn't he? Yeah, we have such a hard time destroying him before he can launch his boarding parties. going to vent them. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs> I love that. Oh, are they going to reboard me? the same three? I'm going to try that again. Try to keep, try to keep track of them. <laughs> yeah, look, they're chasing. <laughs> Jump before they can get back on the ship. I mean, I know they're easy to easy to kill, but uh, kind of an opportunity to learn what tactics we can use. They shot the generator a, a few times, but it doesn't look like they managed to do any damage. I want to keep my eye out 
on what's attacking us. And if we see that there's a uh, boarding ship, try to single it out. See if we can actually destroy one before it launches its guys. Defensive, look at building down. Like boarding parties. I just noticed that when when these blow up, it shows the the XP that we've gained, which is something I expect. By the way, there's there goes some armor uh, from their ship. Uh, but I noticed last time when we uh, last couple times when we when we sat around at the uh, jump gate and destroyed an additional wave that I didn't see the XP listed. Which is interesting. I guess it's, it's saying that you don't actually get anything for sticking around. You're not <sighs> having a seat. Well, that would be why this guy's surviving for so long. Like, why am I taking so much damage in the front? Why is he not killing it? Uh, but what I was saying is, I, I don't think we can get any bonus for sitting around and killing additional waves. Which is good. You know, any, anything that discourages, you know, farming uh, is a good thing. Kind of letting our Fields be charged a little bit. Low power, we've lost weapons. Yeah, that's because I took all the power out of the weapons. Should have also already pre charged. I forgot to, fortunately, manage to jump before. before they got there. So that's interesting. We ended up getting, we got uh, hacking codes on that last mission, and we didn't run into anything to hack. I just wonder if there was a bonus thing that we missed. Not like we missed any areas. I hear someone walking around. Oh, goodness. Where'd those guys come from? I heard them go through the doors. That's how I knew they were here. Um, buddy, you're supposed to be attacking. All right. That one. That one. A little bit of practice starting to recognize the symbols. I'm kind of seeing where they break up. They're all smushed together. Turn to base. Oh, that's something we don't want broken. That thing we don't care about. He is technically an engineer as well, even though he doesn't have the engineering tool.
I would like to have a, a return to station button. You know, uh, the game FTL has the ability to the to, to set the assignment of where everyone is at a given time. If you press a button, it makes that their default location. And you can hit another button to return everyone to that setup that you had established. This is really helpful. Especially when you have chaotic things going on in the ship, people are all out of place. You hit that button and they all scatter back to where they belong. And I really would like to see that feature on this. Alright, well that was an easy run. Which we knew it would be. Ooh, Agile Engines. We want those. Oh, they can't afford them because we need to get the armor. But we want them. Take a look at them real quick before we buy our armor. Yeah, an extra five evasion. Better, uh... Better uh, survivability too. Nice. So let's let's get our last piece of armor. I think we're gonna have enough left for. Oh, we are. Nice. Let's do let's do that on the right engine because when we zoom in, this is the engine that we see more easily. Then we'll come back and get the other one. But bonus evasion, we like evasion. What other systems? Oh, we lock something for, but we don't have any money, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> we are broke. I really want to go after that champion, but not feeling good with the high riskness. We haven't done this one yet, All right? This is yeah. This is gonna give us a good familiarity for what the what this. That's the same map. You know he's gonna come after us anyway. I feel like we should just go after him. And we're gonna we're gonna do the medium one first. Yeah, he's in the area. That doesn't surprise me. I saw it. As we warped in, I saw the symbol for hacking. He's, he must be in here and it... Yeah, he is. I, I, I saw that hacking symbol. He must have started not cloaked. I'm gonna go full tilt weapons until he's available. Alright. We're going to go full evasion. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? That. 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 Fighters. 
we're gonna have boarding parties on us. When he's repaired, oh goodness. Uh, shields are okay. We do have a boarding ship on us. He's got blown up. I don't know that he got his boarding party off. Move the same symbols back to back. Unusual. Shields. Symbol and then that symbol. I think we got him hacked. Get our shields back. Fire all around on defense. Okay, so there are three stealth ships. The first time we fought him, that this was the situation. We had a bunch of hacking that I mean, was necessary. So apparently, he can bring buddies with him. So this is why I want to kill this guy out, you know, on his special mission, because you look at how healthy he still is. Really, more guys coming after us? I hope I bring this guy back inside. He's targeted. Yeah, he is. Dude, that guy's chair. Need to hack anything? Yeah, that was a that, that was a new guy. Oh my goodness. He uh. That's, I mean, we're surviving, but we're, we're going to take us through attrition at this rate. Oh, yeah, he ran away. Coward. Our ship is look at the damage all over it. <laughs> this this is why we had to get that armor. Our ship took a beating. I gotta get healed up. Everybody's in the correct spots. Oh, incoming enemies! Come on, get to the. This is what I was talking about, getting caught away from your, uh, your objective. We're not going to be there in time to charge up. All right, we got there just as they showed up. Oh. No, no, no. Just that guy. I haven't targeted this guy yet. Well, apparently I accidentally got him. I wanted just this guy right here. We're gonna go ahead and line up. This guy doesn't have any weapons. I'm, I'm not worried about losing evasion from parking in front of the in front of the uh, jump gate. 
Oh, we got him before he... Yeah, no boarding parties. <laughs> Anything I miss, is there? No. All right. Builds are good. I could use a couple of hit points. Go and do it while no one's attacking us. Viciously, no one's attacking us. Yeah, we didn't backtrack. Not that that would matter, because if you go back into a sector where you get attacked, you'll get attacked again. I'm not getting attacked. I mean, this guy's only missing a few hit points, but you know what? Why not? Yeah, we had our. All right, I forgot we moved our engines to max evasion, which definitely helped in that fight. Weird, we had nothing. Even finding something in here? I'll look around, make sure that's some odd object that we. I don't think we can do a custom waypoint anyway. No, to just kind of explore. It seems like that was a thing that you end up getting. Yeah, I don't see it on any of my eyes. Navigate to the ring, which is, I'm guessing, is where we're at. Nope. One more. Alright, are any of you boarding part? Doesn't look like it. Alright, fighters. I did focus fire because we were weaving all around and they were staying in that guy's arc for an extended period of time. That's kind of a good time to take advantage of focus fire. Accuracy was pretty good anyway at this point because they're just kind of falling behind, but none of them were making an effort to get out of his arc. Boarding ship? It is. Oh, oh, we got some of the damage. Fancy new engine. Here, get our evasion up. Oh, there's a, a bomb walking past him. that go into the well, it was a little bit concerned there about him approaching the captain I felt like it was probably a good idea to not wait for this guy to kill them all off
He was lined up to get another boarding party off. Or how many boarding parties that those guys carry. We were still in defensive mode, so we were kind of circling around there. Only one guy left, might as well get back to the jump point. That little fighter is really hanging in there. A little annoying. Die already? Thank you. Fill this guy up. We've got a lot, a lot of room left in our med bay. All right, he's heading back to get healed from being healed. And I, I had mentioned in the, in the previous session about how these uh, the weapons switch modes. I don't think I really got to a point where I could show you it happening. Like if you watch this guy's gun, he just switched from the laser weapon to now back. Depending on what, tar what kind of target he's going after. If something has shields and he's going to use the energy weapon. If the shields are down, he's going to switch to the kinetic weapon for hull damage. It's a really nice feature. It, in the original, when it was first released, that was already a feature, but they didn't switch automatically. You actually had to click on the guy and do a switch weapon. And then they went back and they added auto switch. It was sorely needed. It was a nice quality of life update. Far away from the objective. What's damaged? I do like watching a little piece right there, a little armor piece going off. Especially when they're close, sometimes you can see their armor getting blown off one piece at a time. I'm not sure how effective focus fire is on the guy on the front because he's got missiles. Try to be auto targeting anyway. But we were circling around, they were in front of us. Really was off cooldown. We're going to pre-charge, this is going to pull us up to here, so even if he's not destroyed, then we're going to stop moving and our accuracy is going to go way up. And this guy to heal up a little bit. There's a lot of jumps in this mission. Alright, he's back. 
The red here. Ready. There. Heal this guy up as well. Oh, that just kind of came out of nowhere. They were so red that I didn't see them against the uh, the red moon, red planet. It was sneaky. I got pictures of the the mini map down here of radar. Whenever you see that symbol, that's something that's not been tagged. Let's see where they're at. There they are. On defensive. There's no real reason for us to be on patrol, which is really where you just kind of float around. When I don't have an actual objective location, this the whole area is my objective. Because I'm on, you know, I'm, uh, I'm here just to kill things. Okay, need some armor or some shielding. There we go. That ability is so nice when we're talking about a uh, uh, not a setup where you have the the high powered shields. You get so much more bang for your buck. Yeah, I thought not all the ones were targeted. They were slipping some new guys in. Activations up to 65%, which is nice, and we don't even have the next engine, right? We have one of the two upgraded. We're gonna be able to squeak out a little bit more evasion once we get the enough money for another engine upgrade. And looking forward to upgrading our, our weapons a little bit more, though. Fight's taking a long time. We need, we, need a, we need more damage output. But we are in hard mode. We can expect. And my guys are taking radiation damage because of the uh, engines being damaged. Both of them got damaged. Fortunately, this guy is also an engineer. We'll go repair this too. And we're not yet in range of the jump gate. Incoming enemies, but we got enough time to charge up. We don't want to jump all those guys on the on the wing. Alright, he's inside. Go. Go, 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 go! We don't have a turbo boost, we can rush over to the, to the objective before the uh, enemies get in here.
I went on the attack, which you'd think would turn him around a little bit more quickly, but I think they're fighters, and so they're managing to stay behind him. They'll take damage in the... <laughs> they're completely upside down. Okay, if I go in defensive, he flips it over to put his shields up towards the, the enemy. But it's kind of funny, because he, now he, he did a better job of facing the enemy in defense mode because he had front shields than on the attack when it was supposed to be uh, flying right at him. Look at our ship. Look at the bottom of the ship. <laughs> oh man. Oh no. We didn't get charged in time. We're too busy inspecting the damage on the ship. shields and yeah so we're gonna put the back of us to it anyway when we stop here so we have zero evasion but you can see our reactor she went through the roof we immediately annihilated them reactors looking a little worse for wear it was this guy so we're charged wait a second a little healing in we're repairing Yeah, I intentionally didn't mark that other guy because that one right there is a boarding ship. Didn't really avoid getting the other guy. Oh, I take him down fast. Literally your only target. Take him down before he launches guys. Okay, parked in front of us. He seemed to be in a locked in a spiral there. He couldn't seem to get his uh, he couldn't seem to get lined up to launch his troops. Oh no, we don't want our oxygen system going out. Got a laser. Oh no! Going to evasion. We have no shields. And look, our, our, our rear armor is worse for wear. Actually, no longer green. Shields are back up. Why it stowed our uh, weapon in the back is 
stupid question. I'm glad I just noticed that. No longer evading. Our destination here. So, transport one of these weapons back up to the front. I need to get... I need to remember to buy something for that slot so that it's not open. That way my guys don't stow something there that doesn't belong there. That's the last open slot we have on the ship. We'll just put uh, med packs there. In fact, I want to put it to a double med pack. We're charged? Yeah, we're charged. Okay. Ooh, Ion Storm. You know that, that, that Neutron Storm we encountered was really damaging. What to expect all of this is just gonna knock our shields out or we're a full shield, so we'll find out when it happens. Being any hostiles. I'm already on my engineer. Zoom out a little bit, see the Ooh, wow, that was bright. Oh, we lost power entirely? Okay, so it, it shut off the reactor and I had to go repair it to uh, start it back up. That wasn't too bad. Could have been a little bit more annoying during an actual fight, but uh, that's good to know. It looks like the, the neutron storm that we encountered before damaged a bunch of stuff. Caused fires, that shut down the reactor. Where are we going? Over here. You see that? My missiles, when I, uh, they were just flying away. When I retargeted that guy, they, they switched over and went after him. That was pretty slick. Ah, uh, I tried not to get this guy. Got the boarding party there. I got two boarding parties. Alright, take this guy out fast. Know that this guy isn't targeted. <laughs> He's taking a hit anyway just from flying into the stream. That guy seems to be uh, a little bit afraid to approach me. He's scared. This is our last jump. Yep. We'll just sit here and this guy 
load up. The weapon, weapon effectiveness 100%, accuracy 58%. It doesn't seem to reflect the. I mean, we can we can tell by watching it that they get more accurate or not moving, but it doesn't seem to reflect it in the uh, display. That was a lengthy mission. Man, you can barely recognize her ship with so much damage to it. I don't think we got any bonus objectives, did we? Surprising for that many jumps that there wasn't anything else for us to do. So we'll put that 4,000 credits to good use. It's definitely slowing down. Oh, request cruiser support. Nice. Uh, inspirational speech I don't tend to use. Hey there, Liquid. Welcome to the stream. Uh, performance anal uh, analysis, not that, that one. Insp inspirational speech. Uh, it says recharging some abilities. There's not very many abilities that seem to recharge. Uh, like the critical ones, it I don't think it affects. Uh, restoring health. If I'm in a situation where I need to hit that to hit health because enough people are damaged, then I'm already in <laughs> such a bad situation that... Uh, I think I'm, I don't think it's saving grace. Plus, I don't think it restores a lot of health. Cruiser support is very nice. EMP is also very nice when uh, when used. It's situational, but it can definitely be helpful. So nice, uh, nice in the backup power, so we can actually uh, overpower weapons individually. Wow, I locked a bunch of stuff. Oh, did I see a upgrade to our? Yeah, the high explosive cannon. Very nice. Our boots Mark Three. Powered gravity boots. That's something we want for uh, for our engineer. Unlock so much stuff. Engineer, engineer. Those are the boots we want. Yeah. See, we're getting, we're gaining speed and armor off of that from what we had before, and they're they're magnetic boots, so they stay on the on the plating. These were really slow, but they were still. Better than having to turn the gravity back on and, and let things uh, and let things attack us. So those are really nice. In fact, anybody who had the other boots, they're expensive though. Let's come back to that. We want to make sure we can afford stuff on our ship. It's most important to get it on the engineer. But I think we're probably going to put on everybody that isn't the pilot. So we, we have new armor, but at least we get everything to Mark IV now. So I'm not going to spring for the Mark Vs anytime soon. Every now and then we need to check and see if we have 
Yeah, so we have the better better reactor. We still have one more engine upgrade we want to do. I'm gonna go ahead and get this because it's it's better resilience and another dot in power. I think that's gonna deny us our engine upgrade though. Yep. That's alright, that extra that extra point of power can go into engines anyway, giving us effectively more bonus evasion than what we would have gotten from uh upgrading this and I'm pretty sure we cannot upgrade this monetarily speaking oh everything's yeah there we go it would be, it would be a nice bonus damage we'll get to that eventually alright so I think we are We gotta take this guy out. Big fight. Tired of his stealth ship harassing us during fights. We got that extra point now. We can put it to evasion. That's gonna be nice. Get this guy in his seat. They were at 56% evasion and we're not even in defensive mode. The All the systems and everything are starting to really add up to make us hard to hit. The, uh, the homing pigeon and bomber and bomber crew. You're gonna have to remind. I mean, I remember. I mean, since you mentioned, I remember visually, like picture of the of the pigeon. I don't remember it being anything beyond a like a image on the loading screen. A boarding party guy. Gotta watch him for launching boarding parties. Yep, there they go. Blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. Too late, get him out. Oh, he's setting a Thing on the pull. Hopefully, he can disable that before it does whatever it's going to do. No, then I, then I, I never, I never ditched my plane uh, in part one. Not to say that it never. Uh, not to say I never crashed one, but I never ditched one. Um, so no, I, I guess I never got the. I guess I never did get the pigeon.
So you say check that. Did you actually did you actually play it, or did you just check out some videos on uh, Bomber Crew? No, I'll probably set that Recharge our shields a little bit. Nice. It's a fun game. I hope you're enjoying it. I, I, I think it's a great, great little indie game. Uh, if I, if I were inclined to lose my airplane or have, have my airplane crash, it was most likely because my uh, landing gear was destroyed, and uh, have the ship. Have the airplane break apart on the on the runway as you're landing. Uh, can be rough. That's that's something I don't miss. Oh my goodness, lost my entire shield to that just now. Uh, that's something I don't miss. <laughs> In this one, you can't. Uh, um. I think it's which just whichever just whichever um and I don't remember. I, I know what you're talking about the fifty cal and three or three. Uh there should be a damage rating on there, like a damage per second. And I think I just went with whatever had the highest damage per second. I feel like I feel like there's situationally you might switch between them. Have to, I'd have to load the game back up to remember. It's been quite some time since I played it. I mean, I feel like in the, I feel like in the end, after you start getting all your upgrades, I think you end up with the 50 cal being better. But I think there's a, a situation, there's a timing between you getting a better 303 and switching back to it before I'm getting the next 50 cal unlocked. That's that's what I'm seem seem to remember. The playing this campaign has has been making me get kind of the itch to go back and Check out Bomber Crew again because it was such a fun game. Again, it doesn't take anything away from this. I really like this game as well. Oh, they boarding with that one guy right there. Everybody opens up on him. Oh, he's getting his boring party out anyway. All right, target everybody else. I have to pay attention to this interior of the ship. We'll greet them at the door. Whew. It's there. They're all targeted. Wow. Defense going on here. Uh, yeah, they, they, uh, I agree with the, the targeting. It, it feels like, uh, it feels like the targeting is faster in this one. The lock on.
But you'll a lot of that will be getting mitigated, especially later on in Bomber Crew when you get the your uh, I think your navigations officer gets the auto target. What is this guy doing to us? That doesn't matter, he's based us now. I don't remember if we get auto target on this. On this one. Uh, but there are definitely there are, there are definitely differences. Um, in the game, they're 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 they are definitely their own unique game. Out there. There, there are so many different things that you have to deal with in Bomber Crew that you don't have to deal with in this. Uh, that makes it different challenges. You know, like having to avoid flak in Bomber Crew. Bomber Crew is a lot more uh, positionally reliant. In this, all of space is kind of the same. So you're in this one. You're you're more focused on dealing with things like boarding parties. And uh, stuff like that. Whereas in in Bomber Crew, you're paying more attention to if there's anti-air off the ground that you need to go try to go around, or you know how high up you need to get to get over something. As well as the manual bombing. I I if I had to pick between the two, I'd say I like Bomber Crew a little bit better than this one. That I really do it. Enjoy this one. Oh. All right, gotta focus. That hack is. Yeah, heck is, uh, is... Ah. I'm so focused, I can't think of a word. Cloaking! <laughs> heck is cloaking device. Oh, got a boarding party. Who's my other... Yeah, right here. We're going in evasion mode right now because our shields got knocked out. Plus, it's nice not getting this guy hit while he's out there on the wings. I need you to stow your suit. You to put away a weapon. Back in your seat. Again. I think that symbol. That's our partner. Uh, I, I called in uh, a cruiser. That's our cruiser right there. It's helping us. that. Alright, there we go. I should hack his... Oh, what's damaged? Damage. Get there before it catches on fire. Goodness. More. More hacking.
Oh, he cloaked something. I lost. Oh, I defeated him. Oh, it gets so hectic on the ship that you you lose track of what's actually going on outside, which is really is is um, one of the things actually I kind of like about this game or about this uh, the whole series is that you got to learn to 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 let your crew fight for you while you focus on the you know learning on what is the important thing that you need to focus on and trusting your crew to do their job while you're focused on the the micromanagement stuff that's necessary yeah the hacking is is a uh, can be challenging but this in the earlier campaign you get exposed to the hacking mechanic. It was crazier in this because specifically that boss, that champion, uh, had a poking device that we had to hack on the fly. Something you don't normally have to deal with. That's why I really wanted to take that guy out of the picture because I don't need him showing up and I having to hack him while I'm in a other serious conflicts. <laughs> yeah, like when the, uh, uh, I forgot about your free freezing your guys in the, in bomber crew. Yeah, if you're at, if you're at high altitude, they start to, start to freeze. It's kind of the trade-off. You can go a high altitude, which gets you above flak. But trade-off is that you expose yourself to the cold. Because these are old World War II ships. They don't have, you know, they don't have the all the benefits of a modern airplane. So pressure and temperature are uh, are a thing you really have to to worry about. Drive this guy. He's gonna cause possible fire. So everybody's on his side of the ship. Do these buildings on the right side have a, a possible uh, drawback? Yeah, he's giving off radiation. so I can target the gun, please. Quite an extensive fight. You chase them all the way around. Nice, so now they've got those new boots. Guy is faster and has better armor in in the zero G environment. Go and start charging this. Yeah, there it goes. I'm giving. I'm going to give this guy a little chance here to heal up. I'm to go. I wanted to heal up some other guys before I went, but. Oh, neutrino storm, no! Where are we going? Most hurt. This was brutal last time, this neutrino storm stuff. 
We don't need weapons. Fighting. I gotta be ready to uh, run around and do some healing or uh, repairing. Here it comes. I fix the all these things before all the fires start. Oh, we're being attacked. Can't even see the. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. My weapons are shut off. My energy weapons are shut off. Something targeted to get back in the in the first person to Oh man, both of my engines, no Oh no no We're gonna charge fast jump. We're getting out of here. Not sticking around for this. But help if I actually hit the charge button. Get ourselves some shields. Come on, come on, come on. I, I need to get out here and repair these, but I don't want to be jumping with guys out on my wings. No, not you, not you. Woo! Those neutrino storms are no joke. Gotta call in fighters, they have too many people out of their station. Our oxygen's about to cut out on us. Fires everywhere. At least we don't have any boarding parties yet. Fix that before you get caught on fire. Uh, try to rely on him to do everything. Our, our biggest panic is, is under control now. The... Uh, both of the engines are fixed, so there's no longer radiation pulsing through the ship. I gotta focus on getting these things fixed instead of just putting out the fires. Hopefully this is the last jump to get us home. Oh, I hope, uh, I hope she's okay, Liquid. Uh, thanks for stopping in.
All right, so we got rid of the, the annoying cloaking champion. Big money too, so that's gonna be good for our upgrades. Got a little bit of science in there as well. Like the slow dramatic growth of the, the XP bars. So we got got a little more levels, but didn't unlock any new abilities. Current engine we're not gonna worry about. Because we want the agile engine. I'm gonna do that right now. And our rear weapon we want to upgrade. The next gear of the same weapon. Don't check, make sure there's anything else we might want. Oh, that's right. I kind of wanted to try out one of those arcing weapons as well. look at one of these side guys here the arcing weapon feels like because it just the description of it was that it uh, caused an EMP effect it makes me kind of feel like I want that like on the front but I like having kinetic weapons on the front back where did it go that's oh, the particle beam Black and particle beam. <laughs> the lightning. So was the lightning gun the? I need to find the original to see if that was the, the lightning gun. Okay, so the lightning gun is the one that was lightning gun plus MK1 auto cannon. All right, so it's the Mark One lightning gun is what we were looking at originally. This is the Mark Two auto cannon plus something. So where's the other the other combo arc? Okay, so here we wouldn't lose any. Wow, five grand, almost six grand. So if we took this, we'd get the 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 lightning gun without losing our. Hold damage bonus. I'm going to think about this because that's a lot of money. I mean, we've got the money, but we. Uh, I'm just going to think about it for a minute. Because, like. But I maybe rather have. Because I said I want to have kinetic weapons on the front and back. I could potentially put the arc on the front or back with something like this and still have a kinetic weapon on the front and back. I again mark two. Oh man. Yeah, let's let's think about it. We need to make sure that we're caught up on our systems. Like we haven't upgraded our medical bay yet. Or fifty, seven hundred. So this is the one we want right here. <laughs> That's a lot of money. So we want we need to do that, and we need to deal with this equipment back here. And what we want for sure. Let's do this because we keep forgetting to do it. And let's let's take this right here. All right, that was the one we said. That uh, ate up a lot of money, but it's these are important upgrades that we need. But now, if we get in, in a really bad situation where we've taken a lot of our guys have taken a lot of damage, we're not nearly 
is concerned about our med bay running out of healing potential. And that can make that can definitely make a difference. And so finally let's get through here and I know these are expensive, but I want to get the boots on our guys who normally run around. Give, give them uh, enhanced speed. Three hundred apiece. All right, that wiped us out. We didn't, we didn't get any new weapons, but uh, these are these are important upgrades that we needed. All right, so not yet ready to go on to the next campaign milestone. And I would like to get one upgrade at least on that one of those weapons. But I think we're going to do a, a medium risk that's not a repeat. Not showing the little. Although I know we came out here once. Seems like a repeat, doesn't it? Um, plus, I want to—I want to have some money to get my away team upgraded. At least one one mark. I'm, maybe I won't do that before we go on to our next campaign. But we're on, we're up on the two-hour point on the stream as it is. I kind of want these to be in the two two and a half hour max uh, window. So I think that. Doing this as a wrap-up mission would uh, seems like a, a good that stat shield recharge rate 167. Nice. That I don't remember that being a visible stat. Huh. I, I pay so little attention to the readouts on that station because he's never there. He's always in his he's always in the, the weapons bay. Which is why I was saying you know when we started this this fresh run and even though we cranked everything up to max difficulty, we took an extra crew member. What I was saying before was, uh, oh, hang on here, we gotta, we have a pirate, a pirate, uh, captain, oh man, there's so many, I don't want to target all these guys, but if there's so many of them, they tend to be easier to kill, so hopefully we can wreck them. Quickly. We're just gonna get everybody in overdrive here. Uh, what I was saying is, uh, when we started this this run, we took the extra guy, even though we were maxing everything on difficulty. Because I mean, we already have stations that, that isn't you know at least we have one station already that's not in use, and we would have this one would never get used either. And this just doesn't make sense for the ship to be leaving that shy on crew, and and it's just kind of more fun to be able to use those stations that just get underutilized. Well, he's just gonna sit on my roof, isn't he? It's on the defense, then we get. get ooh, man, shields are gone. There we go. Get off of our roof. All oh, this support here. Right, let's do a performance analysis. Increase our XP because we're killing so many things. Ooh, explosions everywhere.
Too evasive. Our shields are all gone again. <laughs> Might have to call in the cruiser soon if if uh, we don't can't thin this wave. We'll see how our fighters do. Back inside. We've already used up all of our focus fires. Oh. And now the other engine's down. And our shields are out again. Time to go stealth. We are, we're using up all of our... Yeah, time to call on the cruiser. There's just way too many targets out there. There he is, that's the cruiser. Oh, and he's on the captain. Nice. Our stealth's gonna wear out soon. A little more of our shields back real quick before uh, start taking more damage. Our evasion back. Right back in his seat so they can actually shoot at things. Everybody's on focus, off of focus fire already. It's already recharged. Oh! <laughs> Laser shot across my belly. He needs to watch where he's aiming. Looks like he ran the the uh, the champion off. Oh, something's damaged. Oh, we are so far away from our objective. We were in defensive mode pretty much that entire time. I mean, no, we, we couldn't actually target an objective. We needed the, uh, the evasion. But I, probably, like, when I was stealth, I should have switched over to the objective to get us over. We are really far out. There's no way we're going to get there before we get another attack on us. Yep, here they come. Fortunately, the cruiser is still helping out. I thought he'd gone home already. I think that was his laser we saw, but I don't see him out there. Off my back, buddy. It's his armor flying all over the place. That was a rough fight. We're not even to our objective yet. But that we shouldn't see the uh, champion again. I didn't really notice anything special about that champion other than him sitting on our roof. I'm sure there's some kind of gimmick or something to him that makes him 
you know, more dangerous. But it was nice not <laughs> they really just run right into a asteroid. Uh, it was really nice not having to deal with his, uh, you know, the, the previous guys cloaking. Because I didn't have to keep retargeting him over and over again. I didn't keep losing target lock. That was really the problem. Would you guys stop hitting us? You're hitting me. Bumping into us. So uh, it was still much better having that that champion. I'm really glad we got rid of that stealth guy. He was a real pain. I get my guys healed up. With our new super duper high powered medical bay. Now with more healing. New and improved. I'm going to risk sending the. Tom's guy. <laughs> See how slow the guys are that I put a bunch of armor on? Don't want these guys to have to leave their seats. Alright. We're going to start out full weapons until we start getting hurt, and then we'll uh, switch a little bit to evasion. I mean, it's the luxury about having such a good reactor is that they'll almost have both of them maxed out anyway. Ship. Focus on him. Get him. Get him. Ah, he got the guys out. I have an arm up. These are just the regular guys. There's someone putting bombs on our on our engine. I don't know. Sometimes we'll see if an effect like that when we activate certain abilities while in the seat. I wonder if that was a leftover graphic from previously when, uh, you know, when he was in there. Maybe. Or it was an effect that I just don't recognize. You know, once again, these are, you know, these are new ships. We're running into new ship types. 
And uh, who knows what abilities they might have. Maybe they can disable a workstation or something. That would be problematic. <laughs> This guy wa uh, losing all his armor. Uncomfortable around these glowing green space rocks. Feels dangerous. Oh. Oh, oh. Not want that to fail. that guy I don't wonder who he's shooting at missing everything something break. Uh, our shield's charging while we get out of our seat. Jump. Back in the pretty red area. Oh, I thought I saw one of you. It's gonna be tricky. Focus ball there. And they're coming in a, on a straight line on me. I think we want to overdrive him. We can, we can afford a little bit of radiation. Of course, now my guy turns his back on all, uh, turns that side on away so he's not actually able to hit anything. Oh, we got two bombers coming in. And an actual walking bomb. Stealth mode here. Wait, we need to do this. Yeah, here. That guy over here. Man, everything just failed all at the same time. Seat. Health mode's about to run out. Five. Get back over here. 
Alright, we made it full use out of that stealth mode. We got our money's worth out of it. down. There's the next wave. I think I lost my gun somewhere. Still carrying it. Oh, you're still carrying it. Make sure there aren't any new. Okay. Uh, our our rear armor is not doing well. The last of them. Didn't call in re I, I was I was ready to call in reinforcements, but uh, felt like it was just we were barely barely in control. <laughs> they weren't sending a lot of extra forces at us, so we were kind of able to. Focus internally without too much external threat. I would have helped if I had this guy in his uh, fighter bay. Ion storm. So we we learned last time that that's not a big deal. Unstable wormhole drive. Ooh. That sounds interesting. Think ion burst. Our repair guy is away from his repair area, which is probably not a good idea. Game healed. Yeah, repair the. All right. What we gotta do with this drive? Be hackable, yeah. Check object. Oh no! Uh, there it is. It is that symbol? That symbol? That one? That one? We are hitting target here. Just. That's so cool. Oh, we're fighting in the wormhole. Wow, there's a lot of guys waiting for us in the wormhole. What? What? Oh, man. We are taking a beating. Oh, our shields are down. Give me shielding. Oh no, we got a guy down. I don't know that we can call in, you know, reinforcements while we're in the middle of a wormhole.
Oh no! Oh, I think we're out of the wormhole. Come on, come on, finish the repairs on the... Um... Gotta get these... I get everything repaired. Another ion storm, no. <laughs> Just gonna have everybody repairing something somewhere. Gotta get these engines repaired because the the radiation. Okay, uh, number seven goes back to here. Five goes back to here. Six. I'm just gonna have to have this guy deal with the rest of the stuff. We have, like, I mean, we are, in, we, are, we are so in the red everywhere. Oxygen system's down again. Back to evasion piloting. All in the reinforcements. We are in trouble. I probably should be making a run for the exit as opposed to trying to get the scan done, but I can't help myself. Oh no, no! We are going to go down! Where is our exit? Yeah, get back, get back in your seat, get back in your seat, buddy. Oh, how we're still alive. We got one med pack left on the ship. No, 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 why would you be the one that Oh What? How do we have a boarding party? Seriously. Where'd you guys come from?
Got a plan, I just don't know if it's gonna work. We are stealth promoting, we, we've got the item. I mean, no, I mean, look at how many hostiles there are. There's no way I could fight these off. Look at that. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get us out of here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. What a fight. We used all but one of us. The good thing we just bought those new med kits too, because we would have lost crew. All the armors in the red. Three people went down. Oh man, that's a finale for the for the the session. The cargo, the cargo that we fought so hard to get retrieved, we got five hundred dollars out of it. Almost cost us our ship. Oh. Use just about every trick in the book on that one. All right, enough for the dramatic rise. <laughs> Fast forward that. Oh, nice power powered suit. So we'll probably get something like that for our engineer. I think we'll probably do that right now. We're thinking about it, and then we'll then we're gonna wrap this up. You can see how important the. The mobility is for this. Oh, but I have the radiation defense. Hard suit. That one. Lose most of our radiation. In just armor. I don't think that's. I don't think that's worth it. Though upgrading this. Obi suit, nice. That would give us more armor, not more radiation protection, but it would give us a lot more speed. We're at minus five right now, we go to plus five. Yeah, let's give them that. Ooh, and we can actually color this suit. Or pink. All right, so. Uh, listen, I wanted to buy the one weapon we're going to do this before we forget. We missed... Eh. Is it, we, I, I was thinking... We'd give up our front weapon for the arc weapon. That's a lot of damage lost to the, from the missiles. Whereas this is a straight, this should be a straight upgrade. Yeah, it is. Because we have the, the 172 just 
raw damage from the missile launcher. Or we can still have the 172, but we can it can switch to energy weapon when uh, when faced with something in front of us that has shields. Isn't bad. I'm going to just hold off. We're, we're going to do this next session. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and call it. Plus, we wanted to do this. And we still don't have... That is so much money for the upgrades on... On the away team. And 7,500 just to gain one... Med kit seems excessive. Feels like they're not playing into the into the away team as much as I was, I was kind of hoping they would, but we'll we'll just see it in the long term. So, but that's gonna be it. Uh, great session with fantastic ending fight. Way way to go out. <laughs> I I really thought we were gonna lose a ship. I was. I was really fearing the worst on that one. Uh, you know, when the pilot and the comms officer went down simultaneously, I thought our goose was cooked. Uh, because of the fact that I was pretty sure we were going to need the pilot to do the quick jump. And even though we could put someone else in his seat, that meant we were going to have to do a full fight. Uh, try to clear the, the gate and uh, so you know having to pull people off of weapons to, to do all that and you know losing losing both the pilot and, and the comms officer at the same time because now we don't have the radar we're in a situation where we're not going to be able to jump fast and we've lost our radar so we can't actually target anything then we have to kill everything I saw that happen and I thought we were done but uh, we managed to pull it off and uh, I'm excited about it it was those are the moments that you remember. So um, that was great. I was glad, glad we got to show uh, that kind of situation and, and how to get out of it alive. So, but uh, uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. And um, you know, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like on the way out. And um, you know, if you're new to the channel, because you're looking at this game as a game that you haven't. Uh, you haven't played you know maybe it's on sale right now and it's brought you to the channel um you know right now i'm still doing the streams we're doing it during the winter sale with probably still streaming but uh you know consider subscribing i do games like this and uh if you like it you might like other stuff that i do uh and uh if i'm still streaming then that way you'll get notified of the streams <laughs> but thanks very much for coming out and uh and hope to see you in uh the next session.